All right, guys. So as you see, I'm working here again on the go kart, and uh, as you notice, we're working on the fins. And uh, if you weren't here for the last video, we are making dark rows. Um, Farm truck and agent's mechanic is actually the one that suggested that we made it or make it. So that's why we're you know giving it our shot. And also, I want to thank him as well because uh, he actually uh, helped by sending us some pictures. So we can get some good detailing in. So uh, thank you, Ed. And uh, hopefully this turns out pretty well. And uh, we got a week left to do the to get this all done. So uh, that's why I just jumped right in and started working on it. So I'm going to continue and get it done. All right, guys, so back at it again. We got a week left, so uh, we got to hustle. So what I did was, as you saw, I welded on the fin. Well, the outside of the fin, I got to get more metal to weld the inside. So what I've been doing is uh, I've been bouncing around because I have a lot to do. I grounded down some of the welds on the body. Over here, I didn't do much because I got to wait for this metal, and I don't know what I have to grind down and whatnot. So what I did was I cleaned up the uh, blower and right now I got this uh, like um, pretty much like caulk type stuff but uh, you're able to paint on it. So I want to go along the edges to make it you know more uh, it look more cleaner. So I grinded it and uh, wire wheeled it to make it look like it would have it bare metal. So I'm gonna do this, and this says in 20 minutes I could paint. So what I'll do is I'll add that, wait 20 minutes, and I'll primer everything, uh, because this is chrome on theirs. So I'm gonna go do a black base coat, because uh, we found out that when you're doing a uh, chrome like paint, uh, we, we, we figured out that uh, if you do a black base coat, it comes out a lot cleaner, like the chrome look. So that's what we're gonna do with this. We're gonna paint everything black. And the good thing is, is the whole body's black. So whatever has to be chrome, like the teeth, what we'll do is we'll paint those black too. And then when it's time to paint the chrome, tape things off. So that's, that helps with that. So right now I'm working on the blower because it's the smallest piece. And there's some other things that I have to add. Like I ended up adding a mirror on it, you know, we got to finish up the back bumper, but as of right now, this is where we're at. We're just, I'm just kind of bouncing around trying to get a lot done. So I'm going to use this stuff to kind of get around the edges, make it look more clean, wait 20 minutes, and then uh, hit it with some uh, primer. So uh, doing more work on the go-kart. Um, I'm going to start doing some body work up here because I still have to do work in the back end. So I figured do some body work up here, at least add the body filler. So then while I'm back there welding or whatever, it gives up here time to dry. So I'm gonna do the body work up here, let it dry a bit and do the work back there I have to do. So hopefully by the time I'm done with that, this will be dried and I could just come here and sand. All right guys, so as you see, we got this part of the fender done. So now it's time to do that side. So I got it marked out on this piece of metal. Uh, Nate ended up giving me this piece of metal. It was a metal from like a furnace, like the back of a furnace. So we're gonna cut this piece out and then weld it up on this edge. And another thing we're gonna do is, as you see on this edge right here, as you see on this edge here, uh, it's going to be a little sharp. So we have this trim stuff that we put around all our sharp edges. So we're going to do that with this also just to keep it safe. So uh, if we ever bring it to a car show, a young kid doesn't, you know, cut themselves. And um, 
So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to cut this out, weld it on, and then work on the uh, back bumper. Alright guys, so I uh, got these pieces off of a uh, some spare exhaust pipes I had from when I was doing my truck and uh, welded them together and these are going to be the headlights as you see here I got one clamped up so they're going to sit in like this and uh, we do got one bigger one smaller uh, we would have liked to do both bigger ones but the tooth got in the way so we did one big side one small side so that's what we got for the headlights and for the tail lights it was a little tricky because the way theirs is, it's like oval like this and there's a bar in the middle. So we've decided to go with a dog bowl or a cat bowl. We're not 100% sure, but a small dog or cat bowl. And um, in, it'll sit like this on the back end and then we'll have our lights. So this is what we're gonna use for the tail lights. And uh, hopefully we can get them in soon and get the bumper done. Uh, we're doing a lot of body work. Uh, we're doing some small odds and ends. So we took the brought the body into the garage. So if it rains, we could still work on it. So we're going to do the tail lights, headlights, uh, the skirts, and then they have zoomies on the side. So we have to do that. And then once that's all done, we could just paint it. But we got a lot to do before we could paint, and we got a week left. So hopefully we can get it done. So stay tuned to see if we can. So we're done with the body. Finally, so now it's time to paint. Alright guys, so as of right now, uh, as you see we got the black on. And so now what we're doing is, I got this sponge, I'm spraying this uh, brick red on it. And I'm kind of dapping it on to kind of make it look like they're, uh, I'm guessing they're rust spots or primer spots, I don't know. But, so I'm looking off of a picture. Uh, that I actually got from Ed. Thank you Ed for sending the picture so we could do this and um, I'm just making it look like it's coming through so I'm gonna lightly dab dab it on and then I'll probably Lightly go over it and sand it to make it look a little faded. So that's what we're doing right now We got a lot of this to do. So again, I just got this sponge spray it on and we're just dapping it on and uh to make it look like it's the spots coming where the pil paint peeled so that's what we're doing right now so guys here it is we finally got it completed it is Friday the show is tomorrow so we got it done just in the nick of time so by the time you're seeing this uh, we'll be at the show and they'll be seeing it so you guys are going to see it about the same time as that they see it so uh, stay tuned for uh, that video of them seeing it and kind of going into more detail. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment. I hope you enjoyed your cruise down the last few years.